this pair of leggings are really asking for a matching top. I'm still a bit afraid of sewing stretchy materials, but because the legging was okay, I'm a bit willing to. And if you like this sort of videos, if you're learning to sew, or if you're just afraid and have so many doubts about sewing, just consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. It helps the channel a lot. And that way, we sew in company. And because I have more than enough fabric, I thought to make it crossed. With my pattern cut, I'm going to place it on the pattern and cut double the front and the back. I'm going to sew together the two front panels along the neckline and armhole areas and put it right sides out. Then I'm going to do the same with the back panels and place it inside the front panel so I can sew it by the shoulders and side seams. And once it's right sides out I can sew the elastic band. The top I like is sort of crossed and wrapped on the other side, so I have to cut the pattern inverted, so let's start with tracing the pattern. So this is my pattern, I'm only tracing one side because the other is the same one but we have to invert it and put it together uh, on the, in the center, in the middle bit. And it doesn't matter when cutting the material, it doesn't matter that this is going down in case of you're worried about your pattern because when we wrap it it will be okay, or at least that's what I think. This is all my thoughts. And for the back I'm not going to make any fancy stuff, I'm just going to trace it just plain. Because I cut it double, uh, it's going to be really nice because the seams are going to be on the inside. But when sewing you have to be careful because it has to be by step by step. So first I'm going to do all the neckline and cleavage area and then the armholes. Front sides together, the two front bits and the two back bits.
And with this done, I'm going to sew together the front and back by the shoulder seams. And what I have to do is to pull inside, right sides together, one inside the other by the shoulders, and sew this little loop. And because the, I've been sewing with the serger just fine, but uh, this is really small, so I'm going to do it with the normal machine. And the same with the side seams. Because the lower bit is open, you can easily maneuver and sew the side seams together. And this now needs an elastic band. And if I had thought about it before a bit better, I would have made it longer so I could include the elastic band in there by folding like I did with the leggings. But I didn't think about that. I don't know if I could do it because maybe it's too many uh, layers of material, of fabric, because this is already double. So I'm going to do like a sort of waistband with my elastic band inside. I must confess, I had to sew it twice because the first time didn't look very nice and it was a bit difficult to maneuver. Maybe it would have been better to buy a colorful piece of elastic band, one of the colors of the fabric, so it will look chunky and like different. It will have been easier to sew, like I did last year with the other outfit. But anyways, next time, let's try it on. So this is the final result. I'm quite happy with it. I think it looks amazing. The double layer of fabric makes a nice seam on the edges and with the serger I didn't have a problem sewing it at all. I love the pattern, how it twists and the look it gives it. It's true that you waste a lot of material because when cutting it is not parallel, it's not mirror effect, but inverted. So you're wasting a whole diagonal of the material and if you want to make it double, uh, with double the fabric, you waste even more. But I think it's worth it. It's true that this bit here is a bit open, more than I was expecting, but I don't really mind. It has a lot of uh, support because it's double the material, even though I don't need that much support, if you know what I mean, but it's okay. It doesn't go anywhere. And because I use a certain color for this project with the machine, I took advantage and also did another seam on the legging so it matched. So let me know down in the comments if you're going to try it, what you thought and uh, what other ideas or suggestions you have. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. I would really appreciate it. It helps the channel a lot and that way you don't miss anything because I, help because I upload two videos a week. And I leave you a link here with other stretchy material projects in case you want to have a look. Bye!